So I'm standing on the roof of our brand new steam hub building inside which we're going to realise our innovative curriculum for the future for our pupils aged 3 to 18. Three years ago the governors of Talbot Heath School asked me how education should be for pupils in the future and they asked me to devise a strategic vision. I went back to the drawing board completely and looked at their competencies, their skills, what we were currently teaching them and actually what they would need to do. And I decided that the current very prescriptive narrow curriculum just didn't meet the needs of these young people heading into the future. They needed to be creative, adaptable, resilient, be able to problem solve and hence we completely reworked the curriculum for pupils starting from the age of 3 to 18. Finding the right talent is a real challenge for a lot of people in the sector. So what we want to be able to try and do, and I think what really fits in really well with the vision that Anne Harrod has got, is trying to prepare people who have got the ability to think creatively, think innovatively, to be able to see the bigger picture um, and to be able to contribute to that and bring those sort of skills is exactly what we need in the workplace. I had to have a coherent vision. I had to say this is how we're going to do it. So it's been a three year process. There's been a new build, there's been new staffing appointments and we've actually then launched an interdisciplinary curriculum which focuses on the key STEAM elements. We will then be teaching everyone from the earliest age how to code, how to devise electronics, how to design think. Within these walls there are three stories worth of studios for art, textiles, drama, graphic design, robotics, electronics. The aim is that they are going to be able to be creative, innovative, they will be using technologies that no other pupils will have access to and it's going to inspire them and spark their imagination whilst also developing their knowledge and their skills. At the moment I feel in many schools there's quite a squash on the arts but this school particularly really values the arts. The creativity within the classroom, there's a buzz. The girls are experimenting, they're having a go, but they're using their own ideas, they're using the skills that they've learned in the STEAM sessions, but then they're applying that in their own way, which I think will follow them through to careers in the future because those skills are embedded then. Our educational model is unique to the UK. It involves a combination of work with school, higher education and industry. We've decided that that needs to start from the youngest age. We're tapping into the expertise of those other institutions to come in so that they are delivering cutting edge lessons, workshops, lectures to our students. The education system is, can be viewed as somewhat dated. Um, they're not really up to speed with the tools and technology that industry is now using. And you know, the fact that she's bringing industry into the, into the school is, you know, is phenomenal. We are a school that is steeped in a lot of history and that's an amazing place uh, to be part of. But whilst we're steeped in that history, we are future focused. We are looking at innovative learning. We're looking at different techniques. We're looking at the potential of each and every learner at our school. So the challenge for me was to retain the high standards and intellectual rigour for which Talbot Heath School is known, whilst introducing the innovation and having the two working in tandem. I do not believe they're mutually exclusive. I feel that actually learners who have an interdisciplinary approach and can look across fields actually do better in specific disciplines as well because they develop those deeper thinking skills and that awareness and that comparative understanding that then will stand them in good stead going forward. We've always been big supporters of the STEAM agenda here at the university and, and seeing it introduced and, and just describing the whole curriculum for an entire school is fantastic. This vision won't just impact on the students themselves, but it'll impact on society. And it's really good that, that students come into the university having been grounded in a STEAM agenda. And it's so 
future-proofing their, their entire lives. So in terms of the virtual reality aspects, whether we're going to do that at school with a large auditorium or whether they come down here for a more sort of um, uh, immersive experience in, independently, it, it gives them a sense of um, empathy they might not get without this experience. If you leave things in, in a textbook, sometimes for some students it's where it stays, but actually to bring it to life is going to open up sort of different avenues for their creativity across the board really. I was initially sceptical about virtual reality and, and the impact it could have on the learners, but having experienced it at first hand, it's truly remarkable and I can see how important this feature is going to be going forward in terms of education. It's mind-blowing. When they come here, they will use their knowledge of material science, of art, of design, technology and combine it in an innovative way to create something unique and that is the aim that their imagination knows no bounds and no limits and we are providing them with the space, the tools and the knowledge to realise their dreams. We will then open up this as a resource in terms of curriculum and learning but also in terms of a community venue and I think in terms of the impact that that is going to have on the whole region um, will be significant. We are saying to the other schools, we are creating a curriculum, a building, a resource, expertise, knowledge that we wish to share with you in order to improve the outcomes for your pupils and prepare them for the future.